There we go. I'm not sure if this e-cigarette. I just bought this. DJ Weed said it was good, and you know what, DJ Weed, I love you. But so far, it's not been the best e-cigarette ever. So far. Uh oh. All right, so here we go. Protoss in the top left. Zerg in the bottom right. Rain Gix starting it off versus Team Light. Uh, Caliber actually starting for Team Light. Um, Team Light, of course, is a new team. They used to actually be the Kiwi Clone Army, is what they went by. Actually, most of this team is Kawhi Rice's students that all happen to get Grandmaster. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what's in the water over there where they live, but uh, seems to be working for them. Yeah, for sure. And they're, they're close friends and practice together all the time as well. I mm -hmm. think that's, that's part of it as well. I agree. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's one of the most important things uh, when having a team uh, that wants to that like with the same mindset. I feel like mm -hmm. all these kids have the same mindset going into this. I want to be good. I want to be really good. And when you all want the same thing, then you it's pretty easy to accomplish. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. So it does look like first pylon is down. Since this is practically a two-player map, I guess you could say, because you know where your opponent is the whole time. Um, you don't have to worry about scouting so quickly as Protoss, you just have to scout, usually after the forge or something. And that way you can easily uh, still block a fast expansion hatch or something like that that Zerg might do. Post result. This looks like we have a pull first here from Gix. Forge first opening from uh, Caliber Light, who also used to be called Picnic. Um, and he used to be a random player, but just recently decided to pick one race, so he picked the most powerful one, for off. And yeah. uh, I'm not whining about imbalance, I'm just saying the Home Story Cup had a lot of good players, and two Protoss made it to the finals, the end. All right, Definitely. and other than that, it does look like there's a no gas for the Zerg, so he's going to go straight and take a expansion hatchery. Cats, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, post Shizzle Man, oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. This is, this would be, I would be right now really happy if I were Yates. However, no one is usually happy when this happens. Therefore, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Actually, the spine is probably gonna finish right about the same time as the as the cannon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, this is a. Uh, I don't know, I've never, I've never seen this before, like this from this position. Like, Combat X and these are both do something similar. What the? Oh, wow. Frick? Nice, 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 nice. I forgot uh, they could even do that in Star 2. Wow. Yep. Uh, that's pretty bull crap. Okay, <laughs> wow. Uh oh, but I'm pretty this sure one good. spine wins, right? Oh, wow. Oh, nice try to snipe the probe, but that might just cost them the spine. Yeah, I the, think it will. The second cannon is out of range. I would just build a pylon up there. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That, that oh one gosh. poke on the probe is gonna cost them the expansion along with that, uh, with yeah. that spine probe. Like, the spine would have won otherwise, I believe. Unfortunately, he wasted a volley on the probe, which was a nice intention. I mean, one more on the probe, and then there's no more harm from, like, taken by the spine crawler, you know, like, there's no vision. But with mm -hmm. that probe alive, things are different, and, uh, now Picnic slash Caliber at his element doing yep. uh, the best he can. Yeah, he is doing the best he can. Now the probe's coming down here. He's probably going to try building more cannons to either contain him for a long period of time, or he could even go and uh, can or even cannon his uh, third base, which is actually his natural, but Ed is third. Um, yep. Yeah, so it just really so, depends on how he wants to play this from here on out. I mean, he's playing brilliantly. He's playing with no pressure. He's playing like his style, his best style. Yeah. Um, he's playing what he knows, and he's uh, he's doing it well. So, mm -hmm. uh, the Mar power to him. Is that is that how you say that? Yeah, I'm sure. Power to you. Power to you. Whatever it is, I don't know. Yeah, but he's definitely Very going to have to cancel that cannon, and the Zerg has got to have his expansion. But you know. He is really far behind economically. It's 26 probes versus 16 drones. Um, yeah, I would not be pleased with that scenario at all. Um, we just see that 
Zerg has switched back to mass drones at this point. So I, I like what Caliber is doing too. Like he's not expanding, but uh, um, Gig's really good there with the Overlord. Is gonna see that starport, um, that Stargate right away. So uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, Caliber, you know, again playing his element. Like this is, this is the kind of thing that not a lot of Protoss players will do. It's like like off of the you know following up the the counter rush. Now mm -hmm. he's expanding, but I'm pretty sure he was planning on even like following it up with more and more cheese until he dies, and that's so hard to deal with. You wow, know? Nice, the Overlord actually got sniped from uh, the edge, like the last shot probably got him, and now this is looking kind of, kind of good for our Protoss player here. I mean, he's still way ahead in harvesters, and now he already has a starport out. Of course, he is supply blocked. Yeah. Right, I take it back. He's not supply blocked anymore. Yes. Void rays in production. And um, yeah, that void rays gonna help a bunch. I guess. Oh, he needs to. Yeah, nice force hole in the cannon, but a little bit late. And suddenly, this is really, really dangerous for Caliber. And I forgot, it is not, you know, the most standard um, chill back and relax kind of player either. He is actually known to be a really aggressive player himself. Uh, Caliber with a failed wall there, and he really needs his Void Ray, but the links are inevitably going to kill some probes here. Yeah, this is going to help catch him up in the probe count. I didn't even see all the Zerglings streaming in, actually. I, every time I looked, he was making drones, but yeah, Void Rays luckily are really good, so it's going to be able to kill all this off, but he's lost a lot of mining time, and he's lost quite a few probes, I believe. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's lost nine. Yeah, he's definitely behind now. Like, way Ten behind. Probes. Wow. Um, they both have an expo, however, and he is ahead in the tech uh, race to some extent. Just uh -huh. now dropping it, got a Nevo chamber going up for uh, for Mr. Giggs. But um, yeah, I mean, I felt like he really needed a, a little bit well placed force build because the force build just didn't cut out. It uh, it had a little hole in it that all the links and stuff ran by and still got the perfect surround that he wanted. Yeah, he needed to he needed to drop it earlier, even to save the cannon. Like he mm -hmm. he he made it so that the cannon could only be hit by a couple of Sergeants, but he did that way too late when a couple of Sergeants were just more than enough to finish that cannon off. But right. right, yeah, that supply block didn't help either. Oh my gosh, uh, more probes are about to go down. I have a feeling. Yep, nice creep spread by Gix, and uh, one Void Ray and one Phoenix, not going to be able to do anything here. Yeah. Is, uh, oh. Certainly not looking good for uh, Team Light at the moment. Caliber is definitely looks like he is going to be struggling this game. Third base is about to be up and operational for Gix. Um, I mean, he has plenty of queens, he has a really good economy, a lot of drones already out. Up to 58 drones actually, so yeah, Protoss is really far behind right now. Mm -hmm. What do you think uh, Protoss can do to come back at this point, Kat? Uh, he could try something like this. He could try just making like not very many units, maybe sentries only, and trying to take a fast third, like maybe with a lot of cannons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and going from there, he could uh, just take a really fast Colossi. Um, or he could produce a ton of, of Stargate of, of uh, Stargate units. He could, he could add an extra Stargate right now, and that would actually be one of my better choices. And just hide a bunch of Stargate uh, units and just show the one Void Ray and the Phoenix, and then, you know, uh, Gix probably feels pretty safe against Stargate units right now, so that's, I think that would be pretty effective. But he actually has a Hydra then for no reason at all, really. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I really like the creep spread as well from Gix. He's got a pretty big creep spread going on. Yeah, a lot that's of right. Nice. everywhere. So, yeah, uh, I'm liking the position he's in. Hydralis Den is up, and Adam Hydralis are in production. First couple Hydras actually already on the map. So yeah, this is just looking really good at this point. A couple more gateways being thrown down for Caliber, but you know we've talked about this a lot. How when you're really far behind like this, you just have to. Um, you have to take a lot of risks, you know, you have to try something crazy to get back into it, and I don't feel like Caliber is doing that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this might work on the ladder, this, you know, this this sort of thing might work against uh, players that are not that good, but when you're playing 
um, uh, someone who's as good as Giggs, uh, he's not gonna he's not gonna just mess up and, and and mess up his micro enough so that you can just go ahead and do what you were gonna do, but two minutes later and it's still gonna work. I mean, you know, it's it's just yeah. how we talk. Definitely. I like that. There's a little deviation there with uh, with Templar archives. Yeah, that's a little bit uh, different. And you know, charge, if he makes pretty much charge. only Hydra, then uh, I guess that could be really good. Well, he's going for Charge Lot uh, Archon. Yeah. And oh, is it Charge Lot Archon instead of like yeah. Charge Lot High Temp? Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I doubt Our... he's gonna upgrade the store. Yeah, I guess not. He's only on two base, so yeah, but like. I mean, it's gonna be different, so it's it's definitely not the usual suspect. So it might be a little bit stronger. Definitely want to hit before those investors start popping out, because if the investors come fungal and then the ranged units can just get in good position, it's gonna be really hard for Charge Lord Archon to do anything at all. Definitely, we do see that a uh, fourth expansion is down, or I guess third expansion. If you're not killing the main fourth base, let's put it that way, is uh, going up for Gix right now at the gold. So. Yeah, uh, the longer this game goes on, the worse it's looking for Caliber at the moment. Yeah, at the same time, Gix is already close to max. So <laughs> yeah. the fight the fight is going to look better for Caliber, but as you were saying, like economically speaking, Gix is just going to continue to take the map, make macro hatches, and yeah, I mean, Caliber needs to take a third or attack soon, but really there is not much that he can do. He, he didn't take enough risks. He's not adding more gateways. Of one base, and uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna do much. Yeah, I uh, think it's going to uh, be over pretty darn soon. I actually, I thought he was just gonna do like a big attack, but now it looks like he wants to go and expand. Um, yeah. I think Zerg's just gonna go and kill him. At this point, he just has so much stuff. Look at he has four infestors, all with fungal, plenty of energy for fungal, uh, Roachling, Hydra. Okay, upgrades. Here's the engagement. Uh, no force fills. Finally, force fills being thrown down, but everything is fungled and everything dies very quickly. And that is going to be the game. Okay, sirs, at depots, please. Wow, Gix is the one talking? That's gonna be him. Yeah, I know. I wish I was not a referee. Oh. I'm gonna laugh. Oh, never mind. I was just gonna laugh if you like made him eliminate him after he talked. Like, nah, yeah. you just eliminate me. I'm going AFK. <laughs> yep, I do that sometimes on the ladder. <laughs> I've done it before. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yep, and you know, actually, Duran, um, Duran, make sure you don't add supply depots. I like that map asses. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, really. Like, that kind of thing, just, you know, taking away the gold, taking away the supply, or, or putting supply depots and stuff like that, it just makes it easier. Like, taking away steps of war, it just it just makes the game so monotone. Like, hey, hey, yeah. you still won, Giggs. You found a way out of, out of that, you know? Like, there's plenty of options and it pisses me off that every surrogate like every player in general is always looking for the obvious option like hey make a supply depot so I can go like I can go roach like I always do and like not have to react to anything because like reacting sucks you know Jesus it's sorry it's all right all right and that is uh cats um, yep. cats dropping the knowledge bomb there you go once again uh, all right, so with that, we are uh, going to take a short break and be back with game two with Rain versus Team Light. Rain is up 1-0, so it's going to be Gix versus... I guess we'll find out after the short break. <laughs> 